Hello. Welcome to Dark Souls. <sighs> Out of school. Need to unwind. What better there is to unwind than Dark Souls? But wait! What better is there to unwind than Dark Souls? No deaths runs. Oh yeah. I'm gonna click new game for once. I haven't made a new game in a long time. Can make my little blueberry character. Mr. Blueberry right here. Blueberry. I am going to be playing with only 30 FPS because I tried recording this at 60 and it did not go well. Obviously I'm going to choose the commoner face, the rest look really stupid except for classic Xena of Fire's Traveller, but some look far more stupid than the rest as we can very clearly see. Commoner it is. And because commoner is such like a normal face, it looks even stupider when I give him really stupid hair. There we go. Dark blue past hair. And now I always try to make him look like a blueberry here. Sometimes it doesn't work out, sometimes it does, but it's always just random. Sometimes the skin goes straight to orange as you can see here, but sometimes it goes to blue. I'm looking for a, like a blueberry-ish face. It doesn't seem like it's gonna come up this time though. That looks very feminine. We'll do that. Now, I'm going to take the master key. Don't worry, you sadists. I am going through Blight Town. I'm just you, taking the master key to get some other stuff that I need. So now for class, we've got the warrior, the fat warrior, the light warrior, the dex guy, the f light warrior who looks like he should be a fat warrior, the bow guy, the stupid caster, the godly caster, the class I'm never going to use, and the naked dude. Obviously we're going to use the godly caster just because of the pyromancy flame being available so early on. Now, I may have to skip the cutscene because of jitters and frame drops and things like that, but I'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, you will see a cut right about... Now, yep, skipping it. Too many frame drops. Not for lack of power on my system. I'm running like dual 570s, so I don't know if like either Fraps has a problem with SLI or Dark Souls has a problem yes, with SLI. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna say Dark the Souls. The Dark Sign brands the undead. Just because it's incredibly poorly optimized. I'm not gonna blame Fraps because that stuff's like really reliable. And in this land, Dark Souls just sucks. Obviously. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Okay, these frame drops are annoying. Screw that. Okay, dungeon cell key, you all know how this works. Got our flippy flips. Swingy swings. Got these guys out here. Now, before I continue, I'm just going to ask if anyone knows, like, law reasons as to why these guys aren't in cages, like this dead body here, that guy there. I'd love to know, because, like, seriously, why are these guys out of their cages? I don't get it. Like, aren't they all supposed to be locked up or something? What? Oh yeah, this happened last time, so just, we'll bear through it. There's nothing I can do about that. Now, despite all of, like, the skipping cutscenes and all of, like, yeah, pro stuff, like, skipping cutscenes, I'm gonna try and make this noob friendly. Oh my god. So I am going to explain things as they come along. I think it's fairly explanatory what the bonfires do without having to explain it. But what they do, they set your spawn points. So if I die, I will come back here. But what it does, a bonfire will actually respawn every enemy in the entire frame um, when you sit at one. Not that guy, though. He dies. Now, something that a lot of people don't notice is that you can see that guy from here. And... The destroyed ceiling and this guy being here, I think there is actually, like... You'll, you'll see later on, for those who haven't seen this before. But for now, I'm just going to run past him, because I'm not brave, I don't feel like fighting him at the moment. It's bad at the game. going to skip this bonfire, don't really need it. I'm going to run up here and grab my lost frames. I'm going to grab the cracked round shield, the worst shield in the game. I'm fairly sure there's something worse, and like some Dark Souls veteran is going to come along and castrate me, but I don't care, this is only my fourth playthrough. Lucky I'm doing no deaths for you. Hand axe, awesome weapon. Probably gonna like get rid of it within milliseconds of getting into the actual game. Let's see here. You can backstab, of course, by get by getting behind enemies and backstab. A lot of people have problems with backstabbing, is what I find. 
there are a few reasons I see for this. One, they're not actually behind them, it's just the position of their feet makes... Not their feet, their waist makes it look like you're behind them, but you're actually not. Is a big problem. And the other is that you're holding up your shield. Now, what I'm talking to, I'm just going to focus camera on something that a lot of people don't notice. I'm going to use it for an explanation in a second. Oh, you. And all the lost frames. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? I will hear you out, because you're awesome and you give me free stars. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thank you. This is a rechargeable health potion. You recharge up to five charges at the bonfires. Oh, and this. And this is a key for the door up the stairs. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. And you're welcome. So I'm just going to dash up these stairs and kill this hollow that decided to push ball down us. You just heard someone die. I wonder where all those souls came from. I wonder if it was Oscar. So let's open up this door here, run right on through, and this is where the Pyromancer... This is the main reason to play Pyromancer. You get this straight away, and it's just... It gives you an insane amount of damage potential. Like, straight at the beginning game. Sure, it only has a couple of charges. And sure, you can get the same damage output by farming up some shards and upgrading a weapon. But fire, like, pyromancy is right at the beginning of the game. It just makes it a bit easy. So, th what's probably going to happen is the beginning of this game, I'm just going to not use the pyromancy glove. Unless I absolutely need to. Because it just makes it a bit boring, in my opinion. What the hell was that? What? Okay. Um, well, this is a message that a lot of people miss. RB1 falling, plunging attack. For me, that's numpad zero. I'm playing on the keyboard. Screw you. I don't, I don't need a controller. I'm far too pro, of course. Or I just aren't used to it. A lot of people miss this message and end up doing really badly on this boss fight. I'm, I have no idea why. Like, it's right there. But something else you can do, you can actually just do a strong attack, and then after it hits, if you do the plunging attack, you actually get two hits, so that's some extra damage for you there. The plunging attack also stuns him for a little bit, so you get some extra damage in there. Just gonna let him fly up and do his little butt slam thing. Hope I don't get hit by the strange recoil, not recoil, flash damage that it's got. I'm going to do my best to iframe through his attacks. Iframes, of course, being invincibility frames that are present within rolls. For those of you who didn't know. There we go, that was not iframing through an attack. That was actually just missing completely. That was iframing through an attack, and then losing a ton of frames. That's awesome. As you can probably tell, you can lock on... Like, for me, it's left and right control. I think that's the default, so don't worry if your key is different. So the Assignment Doom is down. Not too hard. Still not the easiest boss in the game, but... I think you'll find out later who that title is reserved for. So now we just use Pilgrim's key to progress on. We get some humanity. I'll explain what that does in the next video. We're also going to lose a ton of frames and then miraculously gain all of them back, despite the fact there are absolutely no differences. Never mind, we're going to lose all the frames again. I'm going to go down here, grab another soul that a lot of people also seem to miss. And I feel as though there are cracked red eye orbs around here, but I can never remember where they are. So it's a little bit of a problem. So off we go to a new land. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen.
to leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Most inspired ever name. Name of the year 2013. Lordran. Yeah. I can't really understand the name, honestly. Like, I get it sounds like kind of awesome and all that stuff, and it's a good name for like I don't know if this is a continent or something. It's an awesome name, but I feel like this is the only time in the whole game where the writers screwed up. Just the land of the lords, Lordran. It sounds so clunky. It's the only line in the game that I don't like, and it just it just robs me wrong. It just doesn't feel right. Now, before I end off, I've got to ask you guys two questions. One, even though I say I am going to go through Blighttown, I understand that some people do not like the area and don't enjoy watching it, or even just thinking about it. Maybe it's some kind of PTSD thing. But if you guys don't want me to go through Blighttown, I won't go through Blighttown. If you don't say anything, I will. And if you want me to, I will. But if you say something, I won't. Like, I'm perfectly fine going through it. And the other thing I want to ask is, do you want me to cut out farming? I hate farming, and I'm going to be doing the absolute minimum of it. But when I, if I do end up having to do it, would you prefer that I cut it out and put it in a separate video? Or would you prefer that I just leave it in along with the regular run? If I cut it up, then it'll be easier to just skip over the farming. But if I take it out completely and don't put it in its own video, people are going to accuse me of, like, dying and then just resurrect... Like, not resurrecting, uh, coming back to life and just cutting it out to make myself look good. I don't do that, because that just kills the fun. I don't get why people would ever do that. Before I end off, though, I'm going to level up. I'm not quite sure what kind of build I'm going to go for yet, so I'm going to go for two endurance, one vitality. Oh, God, I just got off a soul level one run. It feels so good to level up. You have no idea. And with that good feeling, good feelness, I'm going to leave you with Blueberry, who actually looks like he's kind of human. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.